Hi. Are you ready? Yeah. We're off on an adventure, a TEDx Sydney adventure today, and there are a group of people who are joining Hi. us on this journey. Hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome to TEDx Sydney Adventures. My name's Fenella Kernabone, it's so fantastic to be here. And on my left is the wonderful Clara Bulatich, who you might have seen, of course, at TEDx Sydney this year. How can fashion and sustainability truly coexist? I wanted to take a bit of a deeper dive into the issues in sustainable fashion. So we're going to go and see three different sustainable fashion brands. They're mainly startups and they're all really innovating around how to develop cleaner supply chains, how to use local production and how to really tap into this really strong emerging conscious consumer. Let's get started. Hi, welcome. Hello. Welcome, Elena. Hi. You're in your undies, Hortensia. I am. Yeah. I <laughs> I don't want, to, don't want to point out the obvious yeah. here. Well, most people wear underwear, and if you don't, you're a bit weird. <laughs> the foundation for it has been your choice of fibre, so you've chosen organic cotton. That's right. So it's super, super soft. Right. So it's actually nicer to wear than conventional cotton. Really soft on the skin. The average fabric has 240 chemicals in it. And I think I said in my talk that in one cotton T-shirt, you've got 500 grams of, you know, pesticide in that one T-shirt. When people actually get to know those statistics, that's when they really make that change. This is a great way of trying to shift the industry. And we're researching at the moment how we could potentially close the loop. By that we mean once someone's worn our underwear, they're a bit holy, they can send it back to us and we've got some technology partners that can unpack the cotton and reuse it wow. as, as a yarn so it can Richard, be resold. That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> Because it's the one Hello. thing you can't do. Wow. <laughs> Get your heads around that. The fashion world is just broken and something needed to change. So from underwear to... So exciting. We're going to a place in Newtown called The Social Outfit. Really fantastic example of what I would say is fashion as a force for social good. They're employing recently arrived immigrants and refugees and they're training them in garment production. And they're also creating fantastic ranges of fashion using industry waste. So we really have three aims, and that's to employ, educate and empower people who arrive in Australia as refugees and new migrants. So customers can come into our shop and literally see our staff making garments. And then we sell them at the front of the store. Because I know that um, Australian fashion industry in the last 20 years has gone offshore. Mm. We collaborate with over 15 fashion brands who do give us fabric and things. I'm incredibly passionate about this. What social enterprise is often about is taking existing skills and using that to help those people who might need entry into employment or entry into education. When you do this kind of work, you throw a lot of the rules out and you just see what's possible. So, and it's, so far it's working. Hope you enjoy. Now we're heading to Surrey Hills, two guys who have decided to disrupt the traditional tailoring. I'm pretty short, I've got stubby hands, so I find, I find it impossible to shop in Australia, um, which is really bad. <laughs> um, it's been, what, 47 years, 57 years since Man Land on the Moon? Surely someone <laughs> has, can, can make the perfect T-shirt. Things are done for the convenience of the manufacturer and the retailer and not necessarily for the customer. So we thought, why can't we just rethink things? Can you lead us through the, the, the stages that the customer goes through? So we developed a system where there would be absolutely zero measuring tape, and you could do this from the comfort of home. We give you something called a guide tee, which is our standard small, medium, or large size. We have a simple form where after you've put on the tee, you look in the mirror and just mark up what's too long, or too short, or too tight, and send it to us. We hand cut it right here. This is 100% organic cotton. This idea of the perfect fit for each person is so unique. And one of the key things for us it has to be local, it has to be ethical, and it has to be environmentally sustainable. Thank you very much to Zoltan and Eric from Citizen Wall. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. We couldn't have done this without our amazing speaker from TEDx Sydney, Clara Bulatich. Yeah. Absolute legend, thank you so much. I'd also like to thank Toyota Press. That's been awesome. Thank you so much. That's it for our very first TEDx Sydney Adventures. What I learned today is there's a lot of different ways to look at sustainability. What I found really inspiring is that all three companies give us a voice back to the consumer. It's not only ethical, it's humane and it's, it's really quite genius.